Okay, listen, I, I know I've been really inconsistent with these what if episodes. I am so sorry. I have literally been so busy that I have not had any time to make one of these. And the reason that I can't just make one of these as my daily upload is that um, basically when I upload these Marvel videos, I double upload every time because these videos really, really underperform. And when they underperform, it's not really a problem because what I can do is I can just upload another video that the people that don't want to watch Marvel videos, uh, can just enjoy normally. But the problem is, is I have actually not had the time to upload two days, uh, two videos in one day. And I don't want to push myself to that limit, so I won't, you know, I, I'm not going to push myself that hard to the point where I, I could get, like, burnt out or anything. So I have really really been lacking on these what if episodes and i'm sorry but we are gonna get back on track this week um i will be going over what if episodes six seven and eight in this video i think and then the last one will be nine and i will also be going over let there be carnage uh the second venom movie uh, along with the what if finale in the next episode with that being said what if episodes six, seven, eight, I think. I don't even remember. It's been a while since I watched some of them. Um, I'm just gonna vaguely and quickly go over my thoughts on these. I don't want to get too in-depth because I actually want to complete all three of the episodes in two games. I don't want to drag it out three games. I think that's gonna be too long. So, anyways, basically, what if episode six was about Killmonger and what, what if Killmonger rescued Tony Stark? So, as we all know, Tony Stark kidnapped by the men that were working for the Ten Rings uh, at the start of Iron Man 1 at the start of the entire MCU saga, and it has been like a whole journey that that caused, but this episode was about what if Killmonger was there when that happened, and he stopped Tony Stark uh, from getting kidnapped in the first place, and basically, Tony Stark never made the Iron Man suit, the original Mark 1, none of that ever happened, uh, he never came up with any of that, and then basically, Killmonger turned into this whole villain, and he killed so many people, um, he killed, like, he killed all of the main characters in the show it was really weird um definitely not one of my favorite episodes i wasn't a huge fan of it uh he also killed t'challa um killmonger was basically just a villain and that never changed in the i, I guess movie and episode that he got but uh it was still a pretty good episode if i had to rate it on this scale i'd give it a 7 out of 10 which isn't too great but not too terrible either it's just kind of there i guess along with the captain carter episode i didn't absolutely love it but i didn't hate it either also oh my god your hits calm down dude what the heck yeah it just wasn't anything crazy or anything really really special but overall it was pretty decent so um yeah not bad i mean not the best one not bad either i just thought that it was a little bit rushed and a lot happened in a short amount of time but unfortunately the thing is like that's kind of the running theme with this entire series the show's got a lot of plot holes and obviously you can't really avoid that especially with the route they took in episodes eight and nine like you you really just can't avoid plot holes in this show because it's literally anything can happen no matter what you do there's always going to be unlimited alternatives and that's why the show is so good in the first place because it's supposed to be based on things that could happen in a specific timeline but it can still seem a little bit rushed at times when things happen that shouldn't and you know you kind of just get the impression that some of the things that happened are really dumb sometimes um I don't know. It's it's kind of just a thing. Also, that was so dumb. Like, how did I how did that guy not die? I got lagged back and it was a whole thing. But yeah, it's just like I don't know. It, it's just a thing where I have to be kind of uh, lenient with Marvel here because um, what if is the type of show that can literally have unlimited plot hole and I have to kind of respect that because it's at the end of the day kind of made to be that way. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it wasn't anything crazy, but what if episode six was still pretty good? What if episode seven was the party Thor episode? And I'm not gonna lie, this was probably the worst what if episode so far. Um, what if did a really good job with the zombies episode um, and the last couple episodes and then i wasn't a huge fan of the party thor episode at all honestly it kind of seemed filler and really not that great whatsoever it just it didn't hit for me i don't know it was just a little weird but it just really did not hit for me whatsoever um 
Honestly, it might be the lowest episode in my opinion. I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. The only episode I put near Party Thor is the is the Peggy Carter episode, which was the first one, which also wasn't that great. But besides that, um, the show's still pretty good. It's been it's been kind of like a hit or miss show for me recently. Like a lot of the episodes have been really, really good, and then some of them have just been really, really bad. There isn't like much of a middle ground because some of them just haven't been good. That's kind of just the honest way to put it. I, I can't really be lenient with Marvel here because I have such high expectations for them, so I kind of just have to be honest and talk about what I think and what I believe. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, it wasn't that great. 5 out of 10, not amazing, not terrible either. You know, it just wasn't my favorite, and that's just how it is. Um, basically, the Party Thor episode was about what if Thor never had a brother, and basically, Thor is just this kind of jokester, and he never becomes the serious, um, respectful person that he is. So, it's kind of a mess, honestly. It's- it's kind of a mess. Um, I- I don't know. I just- I wasn't a huge fan, I guess. Um, oh my god, this guy will not leave me alone. Please. Go away. He has- Oh my god, he just won't leave me alone. He's literally got so much stuff. It's insane. Why are the emeralds so good? That's so annoying. Okay, so turns out that guy was actually cheating and he was actually sniping me as well. So that's why he was just focusing me. But anyways, basically the party Thor episode, um, Thor never had a brother. So Loki wasn't his brother. He was just his half brother. Uh, I guess they, they referred to him as brother from another mother. So not even half brother, just, just kind of there. And, uh, Thor built this completely different personality because he never changed as a human because of Loki's act. Actions. So Thor kind of ended up being this jokester character who never took anything seriously and he came to Midgard aka Earth and just partied on it and that's literally the entire episode. It was so weird and so, I don't know, it just, I didn't love it. Honestly, it just didn't hit for me and I think one of the reasons is Jane Foster's character. Basically, Jane fell in love with Thor because of the person he was, the amazing superhero he became and the amazing sacrificial person she saw him become, the uh, respectful guy that he turned into throughout Thor 1 and 2. And I feel like in this episode, Jane kind of just fell in love with him because Jane fell in love with him at first sight and it just didn't hit the same at all because the entire reason Jane liked him was because of the this personality that he was in Thor and how much he changed and improved and caught um, her eye. I don't know, it just didn't hit for me because I felt like Thor was very out of character and like Thor was very in character but also out of character because he just I don't know, it just felt really off. I, I don't know if I can explain it, but I'm sure a lot of people can, re like, relate that this really wasn't the best episode. The Party Thor episode was probably the worst one yet, in my opinion. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about episode 8, because episode 8 definitely redeemed the last two episodes that weren't that great, in my opinion. Like, episode 8 was so good in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but I love this episode. Episode 8 was about a world where Ultron won, and this was crazy. Thanos came to Earth, Ultron killed him basically instantly, and then Ultron got six Infinity Stones, becoming the most powerful being in all of the universe. Basically, what happened is Ultron got his hands on nuclear launch codes, and he he basically started World War 3, and uh, everyone killed each other. And the only people alive on the planet were Hawkeye and Black Widow and the episode revolved around them surviving and trying to stop Ultron from basically killing everybody uh, in the universe and stopping him while there's still hope. Um, Ultron got all six stones and basically turned into Ultron Vision which was super crazy. Now keep in mind that this is not just a normal Ultron AI this is actually Ultron Vision because the entire episode revolved around what if what if Ultron became Vision in the first place. So obviously we know in a Age of Ultron, the Avengers stopped Ultron from getting Vision's body and getting the Mind Stone, so Vision became Vision, and uh, in this What If episode, this is about what if um, that never happened and Ultron actually gained access to Vision's body, and it was a whole mess, but I loved it. It was so fast-paced and literally so much happened in such a short amount of time. It was kind of crazy, I'm not even gonna lie, like, it was, it was crazy, it was so crazy. Uh, it was really, really good in my opinion. Like, I actually really liked this episode a lot. Um, yeah, it was, it was super sick. It was, like, really sick. Also, go away. Come on. Nice, got him. 
perfect. Now, if I had to rate this episode, honestly, I think this is one of the first 10 out of 10 episodes in What If. Now, obviously, this is all relative. Um, like, this isn't, like, 10 being, like, Avengers Infinity War level, you know? Infinity War is miles ahead of every single What If episode. That's just how it is. But, um, on a scale, if, if there's good episodes for What If and Bad, this is definitely the best one, I think. Uh, this episode was honestly so good. It even got to the point where Ultron got so powerful that he could see the watcher which no one is able to see he broke the multiversal plane he had access to every universe ever and he started destroying universes he even ate one um which was crazy uh he fought the watcher for half of it it was just such a chaotic episode but i absolutely loved it so with that being said if i had to rate this episode i would rate it a 10 out of 10 which is pretty cool honestly this episode was so good it was so good and uh i actually have not seen the final episode episode yet i was going to of course um it was released a week ago but i actually wanted to wait to get a, kind of a fresh reaction so that i could do a video on it as soon as i watch the episode i just want to get a fresh reaction i guess so that it would be more natural and better because i feel like this reaction video or this thoughts video could have been a lot better if i watched these uh what if episodes recently except i watched some of them like two weeks ago three weeks ago so it kind of is a little bit difficult for me because i am fitting a lot of information into just one video but I don't think it's that big of a deal because there aren't that many people that really care about the show if I'm being honest like relative to like Falcon and the Winter Soldier WandaVision locally Loki the show isn't that huge so I don't think it's a huge deal and I think a lot of people are here just to watch the show for me rather than um the like actual shows and they're not like super critical about it and they just really enjoy my gameplay so for those of you that are watching this video thank you for supporting me either way you know I really appreciate it um yeah, my bed's gone. I kind of knew that was going to happen. But yeah, I, I really thought these episodes were pretty decent. I mean, the first two weren't great, I'd say. Um, episode 6 was a 7 out of 10. Episode 7 was a 5 out of 10. Episode 8 was a 10 out of 10. Which, I mean, that's one problem with what if. They're very hit or miss, as I said earlier. You kind of can't know how good or bad an episode is going to be. But, um, I don't know. I always get, like, mixed reactions when I hear people talking about what if. Some people are like, oh my god, this episode was so good. And then some people are like, oh my god, this episode was terrible, and they might be talking about the same episode as the other person. It's kind of just a weird thing, but I don't know. I think it's cool, honestly. I think it's really cool, actually. Like, I'm I'm excited, man. Like, I'm excited to watch the finale. I hope it's not bad or anything, because I have decently high expectations for Marvel, okay? Not crazy high since it is what if, but decently high. The show has really not been bad. I know some people hate it, but I personally think it is actually pretty overhated, and that's just kind of my take on it. Um, I still thought it was pretty good, but anyways... I am going to be watching Eternals opening night. I've already got tickets. I'm going to be making a video on the finale and uh, Venom soon. I hope everyone had a great day. Let me know your thoughts about these what if episodes in the comments below and peace out.